Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm sharing how to create an interactive bendy card that folds flat for mailing and features the fantastic tropical leaves and critters from the newest release. So let's get started. First I die cut the Slimline Tropical Leaves Border Die from Strathmore Bristol Smooth Cardstock and Rainforest Cardstock. Each border is 5.5 inches long and approximately 1 and 3 quarters and 2.5 and inches tall, so that can vary depending on your design. I also die cut the Tropical Leaves Backdrop from the same two cardstocks. I start by using a blending brush to apply cracked pistachio, peacock feathers, and faded jeans to stress oxide ink randomly across the Tropical Leaves Backdrop cut from Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. Then I blend the same colors, concentrating the darker colors on the bottom of the Tropical Leaves border panel. Off camera, I blend a little faded jeans and chip sapphire distress oxide ink onto the rainforest cardstock. Once they were dry, I splattered the panels with water and distress oxide ink and then set them aside to dry completely. Next, I blend an abandoned coral, dried marigold, and scattered straw distress oxide ink onto another panel of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock to create my sunny sky. I splattered that panel with water and then set it aside to dry as well. These are the completed pieces for my backdrop and what I will use to create the interactive bendy card element. Next, I stamp the images from Toucan Do It onto white cardstock with jet black Copic friendly ink and color them with Copics. I use Y30s and YR16 for the toucan beaks and toner grays for their bodies. I start with my lightest color first and then add my darkest color for shading. Then I blend back out to the lightest color and use that to blend everything together. For the leopards, I use E30s and a dark gray marker with E27 and E29 for their spots. Off camera, I color the lizard, monstera leaf, and hibiscus flowers, and then die cut all the images with the coordinating dies. Next I add score tape to the back of the blended tropical leaves backdrop and adhere it to the opposite side of the backdrop die cut from rainforest cardstock for a little extra dimension. When adhering large panels together, I like to only peel back a little of the adhesive backing to get it started so I have some wiggle room to adjust it as necessary. Then I take my tropical leaves borders and score the left end of the rainforest cardstock and the right end of the blended cardstock a half inch from the edge. I fold them on the score line and use a bone folder to get a good crease. That small folded area is what will eventually be attached to this background panel.
Next, I take a ruler and mark a line a quarter inch from the right side of the rainforest cardstock border. I hand draw in lines to create a tab and then fussy cut them. Then I simply erase all my pencil marks. Here you can see how the scored edge will fold behind the panel and the tab will eventually be inserted into the background panel. Next I take a ruler and mark 2 inches from the right side of the panel with a pencil. Then I line up the rainforest cardstock border along the bottom of the panel and the lines I just drew and mark the edges of the tab. Then I use a pencil and my ruler to connect the lines. I move my ruler slightly and make a second line to create a super skinny rectangle. I erase the extra pencil marks and then use a craft knife to carefully cut out the skinny rectangle. Off camera I place the tropical leaves backdrop over the blended panel and cut out the area that covers the notch I just cut. Now you can see how my tab will fit into the panel without getting stuck on the tropical leaves backdrop. Next I take the rainforest cardstock tropical leaves border piece and mark 2 inches from the score line on the left side. Then I line up the blended leaves border along the bottom of the panel and the line I just drew and trace along the edge of the border piece. Then I use scissors to cut that line and again cut a parallel line slightly to the side of it to create another super skinny rectangle. These are just bigger openings that fit the tabs better. Now it's time to start putting it all together. Off camera, I stamped part of the sentiment from Two Can Do It onto my background panel and adhere the tropical leaves backdrop. Then I placed my panel onto a card base and traced the opening I cut for my tab. I used my craft knife to cut an identical opening on the top of the card base and then I adhered the card base to the panel. After adhering the card base to the panel, I realized I was supposed to adhere my tabbed bendy panels first. Luckily, I was able to carefully peel back the card base and sneak in the bendy panels. But yes, definitely attach the bendy panels to the background panel first, and then adhere that to the card base.
Once the scene was complete, I added the rest of my sentiment die cut from Finley's ABCs and black licorice cardstock, and then built the scene up with the Toucan Do It images I colored earlier. Finally, I added another sentiment from Two Can Do It onto the inside of one of the panels for an extra special message. I love that this card folds completely flat for mailing, but then can be turned into a beautiful 3D design that can be displayed by the recipient. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Lawn Fawn channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye! <music>